Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Today I'm in Dallas, Texas at the Southwest RV Super Show. Coming up, a bit of an oxymoron, an affordable pleasure way motorhome. This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza at the Dallas RV Show. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Next up is my 2022 Pleasure Way Tofino. It's actually semi affordable, going for uh, after discounts. 88,000 bucks, not too bad for a Class B. It's on the uh, Ram chassis. So let me turn on the camera and show you what I have going here. Here's, uh, it has a little pop-up. And here's some information about the Tofino. It has the Nexen tires. Very nice. It's a view of the uh, Ram chassis and the uh, pop-up. One thing differentiates the uh, Mercedes line from the Ram line is that the uh, Ram line is definitely more affordable and it has a lot more places to get them fixed. So if you have any issues in the middle of uh, nowhere, uh, there's a better chance that you're going to have Ram parts, Ram, parts for your Ram. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, place where you can fix it as compared to a more upscale Mercedes. One of the different benefits. So this is a Ram 1500 Pro Master chassis, the Tofino. That's where you get your 30 amp. It's coming from the roof. It comes way down here, and there you go. It has a nice step. Here's your dumps. You have your gray dumps. I don't see any black dumps. I don't see gray dumps. We'll soon find out. There's your Truma system. Potable water only. And again, this is a Pleasure Way product. So you know it's high quality and it's at national RV centers. The lady that does their uh, infomercials for National Indoor RV Center is probably the best in the business. She really knows her stuff. She's very professional, even though she's in her stilettos. <laughs> Here's a view from the back. I don't know. This is a, has this carpeting material plastic. Same on the other side has this mesh here, a ladder mesh, has the uh, roll down bug screen and your uh, backup camera. It has a hitch, I don't know how much you can tow, maybe 30,000, I mean 30,000, no way Jose, 3,000 pounds, who knows, maybe 2,500 pounds, maybe more. I'll contact the dealership and they'll be more than happy to exaggerate for you. What's behind there? It's your hose. Nice little spot to put your stinky hose inside your class B. That's not a good spot. I would put it outside. <laughs> Who wants to smell S-H-I-T inside your RV? There's your converter box. There's your RV accessory starter kit. Etc. Etc. Again, uh, they're selling this thing for 88 grand instead of 97. So I give you a little bit of a discount. Significant discount. Nice running board. What do you think of this running board? I like it. You get one step, two steps, three steps. Whew. Let me turn on the camera. So I'm inside. The only way I can stand up inside this uh, class B is because the top's up. If I wasn't, uh, if I didn't have the top up, I would have to be like, you know, ducked down. So let me turn around the camera. 
and so you can see the rest of this video. So there's the uh, pad. It's a nice little uh, loft. I estimate a two inch pad. Goes all the way across. And this is the pop up area. It has a zipper window there and a zipper window there. And a zipper window here. And that's probably the lock to hold this thing up. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. You have an induction cooktop. A smallish stainless steel sink and a, probably the most petite little uh, faucet I've seen in a while. Super petite. You have your little control center over there. You have your windows there and they're awning style windows. Let me sit here. You have some storage that goes back quite a ways. You have a controls for your Xantrex. Uh, Inverter, some plugs there, your induction top reset. I never had that before because I've never had an induction cooktop. And there's your plumbing and some storage down there. Oops, let me close it. There it is. Let me close this one too. It has these piano hinges. There's your small refrigerator, it's a Dometic. Here's an example of one of the chairs turned around. Here's a shot of the flooring. Oops, I banged my head. <laughs> of course, this plops down, makes into a bed. What do you think? Let me see what's back there again. So I think this uh, is like a jackknife-ish sofa. And uh, they have some odds and ends under here, some controls. And it looks like the 12 will shut off, some vintage. And there's a shot of the uh, front of the unit, typical uh, Ram truck, Ram van setup. I like the seats. I would love to have this unit. How about you? Would you like to have this unit? You tell me below. I'm trying to get out of here without killing myself because I keep on banging my head. Wow, I banged my head several times here. <laughs> what do you think of the uh, the unit? It's a very nice uh, compact unit. It's the Tofino. Decided to get a little Italian on us. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it if you have time. Again, like, subscribe, and share. And please leave your kind and super friendly comments below. Abajo. From the uh, RV show in Dallas, this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. Uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jmmgarza. Thanks for checking out my video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions regarding this thing, I would just call the RV dealership. National Indoor RV Centers. They're very nice people down there. Very professional. I've been down there. Very nice. Very upscale. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my video. Gracias. Adios. Bye.